the number one killer in the United States is heart disease. Heart disease is the number one killer of all people in every population throughout the world. Cardiovascular disease is the leading killer of both men and women in the United States. Heart failure is now increasing in this country. What are what we call the independent risk factors? The first one is family history, cholesterol. Being overweight, diabetic. High blood pressure, another killer. Atherosclerosis, smoking. Insufficient exercise, too much stress, lack of sleep, very poor diets. And a heart attack that may occur when you're 50 years old would not have occurred until you're 80 years old. If you want to get along with your cardiologist, do what he says. If you want to protect yourself from unnecessary surgery, expect a fight. There were numerous studies done by nurses that recognized that women's symptoms could be very different. Women can have a heart attack without having chest pain. All the diseases that we thought were those of the older population are now being seen in the younger population. Cholesterol per se is not the enemy. It's the oxidized cholesterol. The statin drugs that block the production of cholesterol also block the liver's production of coenzyme Q10. There are a variety of natural things that help from the blood. Fish oil, natokinase decreases inflammation. Vitamin E, garlic is beneficial. Vitamin C as well, great antioxidant, immune stimulating properties, helps to thin the blood somewhat. And unfortunately, traditional medicine has ignored this. I think traditional medicine ignores everything that has to do with the word nutrition, or vitamin, or herb, or holistic.